A competitor with SpaceX has just revealed that they are working on cutting the time to fly to Mars in half by building a nuclear fusion powered rocket. Incredibly, Elon Musk says he thinks it's a good idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Australia. Nuclear fusion rockets could, in theory, cut the time to fly to Mars in half, and they could enable the greatest space race in history. What am I talking about? Well, there is literally not trillions, more than quadrillions worth of incredible wealth littered throughout space in the form of asteroid rocks. Now, these asteroid rocks are loaded with trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars worth of metals, including gold, nickel, and others. How do we extract those metals? Well, the race is on. This is the space race. It could end up being uh, very deadly, very exciting, uh, very lucrative, or just a little bit insane. Either way, Elon Musk thinks that there's some significant potential in nuclear fusion rocket research. UK-based aerospace company called Pulsar Fusion is working to put a rocket powered by nuclear fusion that could reach speeds of 500,000 miles an hour. 500,000 miles per hour. That would cut the time to fly to Mars in half. Astronauts could reach the red planet in only weeks instead of months. The Insider reports that recent research has concluded that a trip to Mars would be safe-ish if they make it back home in under four years and don't spend too much time exposed to radiation and the lack of gravity. With current technology, NASA estimates it would take seven months to reach Mars. So about 30% of the total safe trip time would be wasted flying. Cut the travel time in half and people would have a lot more time to run tests and to just generally explore Mars, hang out there, see what it's like to live there. Humanity has a huge need for faster propulsion in our growing space economy, and fusion offers 1,000 times the power of the conventional ion thrusters currently used in orbit, said Richard Dynan, the CEO of Pulsar Fusion. If humans can achieve fusion for energy, then fusion propulsion in space is inevitable. This technology is so exciting, they were already talking about using it to send people to other tourist hotspots in space, such as the moons of Jupiter. A fusion rocket could allow us to send people to Mars and bring them back in weeks, not months or years, said Pulsar propulsion engineer Adam Baker. It could allow us to do round trips to the outer planets of the solar system to send people to see the rings of Saturn or the moons of Jupiter. Now, personally, that all sounds very interesting to me. And I think there's many, many explorers that would love to see those places be the first ever to go there. However, commerciability is a completely different thing. However, commercializing this sort of project is a completely different thing. Getting enough funding to get it off the ground is another story altogether. However, I think in light of what we now know about the asteroid, which is circling the Earth not too far away, and it's getting closer by the minute, might change the opinions of, well, for example, the United Kingdom's government, who probably are very much aware of the $10 quadrillion in value of the metals on that asteroid. Potentially, a ship using nuclear fusion could have the power to fly there blow the asteroid up and tow parts of that asteroid up and tow parts of that asteroid back to Earth. Now, that's just my hypothesis. The truth is, I don't know if that would work. What do you think? If you're an engineer, a space engineer, or a rocket engineer of any kind, let me know in the comments. Pulsar Fusion claims that a nuclear fusion rocket is the only known technology that could propel a craft fast enough to visit destinations outside of our solar system in a human lifetime. And I think they're right. It adds that the rocket could reach our nearest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, in 10.5 years. It would take fission or chemical rockets hundreds of years, meaning those technologies just simply wouldn't work. 
It says that the conditions in space are ideal for nuclear fusion. It's minus 275 degrees, which is ideal for superconducting magnets, as space is a vacuum, so there is no need for enormous high vacuum components. The rocket may also be used as a power source on other planets, like having a nuclear reactor for robotics or asteroid mining, or even just for growing food. Pulsar Fusion is looking to have a test firing of a rocket toward the end of this decade. I'm curious, is this sort of considered a nuclear bomb? If it were to explode, what would happen? Elon Musk has expressed some, actually, it sounds like serious interest in the potential of nuclear powered rockets in response to this story about using nuclear rockets to, use, to reach Mars in only 100 days, he said it was something NASA should explore, calling it a great idea. Nuclear thermal rocket for fast transit around the solar system would be a great area of research for NASA. In 2022, Musk said it was highly likely that people will visit Mars within 10 years, and he hopes to colonize Mars before he dies, or before 2050, whichever one comes first. The SpaceX and Tesla CEO has long advocated for the colonization of Mars, and realistically, eventually, it will be necessary because the Earth will continue to heat up. And eventually, in millions of years' time, it will simply be too hot to continue to live on the Earth, unless we have some sort of amazing technology to prevent that from happening. The reason Elon Musk thinks we need to colonize it is that it's a solution to many of the Earth's problems, particularly climate change. And he has made landing on Mars, therefore, a big priority for SpaceX. To me, this all sounds actually really exciting. If this is the future of space travel, I'm all for it. I'm excited. But I am just a little bit concerned about a nuclear powered rocket. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.